And I do want to lead this into kind of what you're doing now. So Mm -hmm. I think a lot of these experiences, you know, have taught you a lot, obviously, and you're using it to kind of pay forward to help some of the high school students, right? Mm -hmm. So explain a little bit about the messages that you share to some of the high school students, what it is that you briefly do, and what's kind of your perspective with how to help and pay forward to younger athletes or students? Yeah, um, so after my career ended with, uh, at, with UH, I kind of, I, I decided that I didn't want to play pro because my body had kind of had a lot of wear and tear, so I needed to shift into a career already. Mm-hmm. So I decided to pursue school counseling, mm-hmm. and so I entered grad school at Chaminade, and it, I just recently finished. It was mm-hmm. a two and a half year program. Congrats! Yes. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I uh, but but those two years before finishing, so I have been a teacher mm-hmm. at uh, Kalani High School. I teach this program called ALC. It's okay. uh, an alternative learning program, basically. It's um, for kids who really fell behind for some reason Mm -hmm. in their first three years of school and Mm -hmm. they need an opportunity to really catch up in credits. And Mm -hmm. so they come to me and I'm their only teacher all day, every day. And I Mm -hmm. teach them all the subjects they need to catch up. But then also I intertwine a lot of counseling. Mm -hmm. That's actually the majority of what I do. It's a lot of counseling because a lot of the kids who enter that program Mm -hmm. They're there for some reason, and yes. a lot of the time it's because of hardships they mm-hmm. experience outside mm-hmm. of school. Mm-hmm. And so I really relate to that because I experience yes. a lot of hardships outside of, um, you know, mm-hmm. outside of volleyball. Mm-hmm. And so I kind of bring those experiences with me, and yes. I really can connect with my kids well yes. because I understand what it's like to experience something like mm-hmm. that. Yes. And um, so that's uh, what I'm doing right now. And I eventually want to be a school counselor mm-hmm. who works in high schools, just trying to help kids with any social emotional issues that they're experiencing. Mm-hmm. Are there any big messages that you can pass on, not only to the kids that maybe are in your program or need to catch up with credits, right? But just for anyone navigating through high school, college, or even those athletes that are looking to play at the next level, right? What are some of the messages that you can pass on from your experiences? Mm -hmm. Uh, There's definitely a few things I can think of. Um, One of the big ones being, there's nothing wrong with communicating any any demons you're facing Mm -hmm. and communicating with others and being open about it because Mm -hmm. I, I know that I kind of regret not being as open about it with others and kind of asking for help when I needed it. Mm -hmm. So I think um, it's hard to talk about. It's really, really hard to talk about. But I always encourage my kids that I work with Mm -hmm. to be upfront and open about having those conversations. Mm -hmm. And, And they all kind of realize after I work with them on that that they do feel better Mm -hmm. and you know talking just simply talking to somebody about something and finding someone you trust is it's it goes a long way and it really helps yes Mm -hmm. it definitely helps and i think you know you passing on that message from your your experiences Mm -hmm. they can tell that you know you've been there they can tell that you really care about them and you're really there to help them too. So mm-hmm. I think we need more people in the community, you know, in any role, right? Mm-hmm. To really help some of the kids when they're going through some of the hard times because yeah. that's what most people, the public, doesn't see. What mm-hmm. happens during the hard times, you know? Yeah. It's fine when things are going great, you know? A lot of times, oh, yeah. you know, things are going great. You don't need need a lot of this, this extra support, I guess, um, although it helps, right? Mm-hmm. But it's to get people through some of these obstacles because I think that's when we learn and grow the most. Yeah. But it's great to hear all of the things that you're doing. I mean, even now, you know, even though you're not playing competitive volleyball or anything, <laughs> taking care of the shoulder, the knee is recovered too after you mm-hmm. had surgery. And it's really good to hear kind of all of the the backstory of what you had to go through through your UH career. And it's still played out, you know, although you weren't playing the position that you would have liked and things it still played out to be a very valuable experience for you and help yeah. you to this day right oh yeah yes do you have any other 
any other last words or messages to anyone out there but i'm so happy to have heard and you know sharing your story too but any any last words honestly just any hardships that are faced just kind of work through them and ultimately you'll kind of end up on the flip side and feel stronger because of it yes. so i i'm don't regret my career uh -huh. i definitely know that i learned a lot from it there's a lot of things to be learned from hardships and so i'm i'm thankful for it actually yes. Yes. and i'm stronger because of it definitely so. a lot stronger and thanks for sharing all the great stories again and maybe one day you know have you ever thought about coaching or doing anything like I that if i want to yes. I, i want to pass down any knowledge that i've gained <laughs> yes. from my career so i i want to eventually be a high school coach yes yeah, so one of these days we'll see you coaching on the sidelines or for club or all of these things um mm -hmm. but i think there's definitely a lot of things that you're going to do to help more people in the future but also you know hopefully get back to the game of volleyball in some capacity and help all of these younger athletes hopefully but <laughs> This is always, I always say, it's just the tip of the iceberg of your story. We can literally, every athlete, we're trying to cram in <laughs> as much as much of your story as possible. But maybe one day we'll do it again and follow up on this. But thanks so much again for joining me. I hope you enjoyed yourself and thank you for sharing your story. I did. Thanks for having me, Andrew.